So you're telling me that couple that, end, that ended that story, they're walking hand in hand and mm -hmm. they don't know if they're in a relationship. Yeah, after saying I think so. Oh, there's an interesting conversation See, on that walk that's home. where, had, had I been on camera there, you would have seen me cut in and go, actually, no, we're not, <laughs> not, not anymore. Not anymore. Oh my gosh. All right, well, obviously today is the perfect day to talk <laughs> love in the morning. And Valentine's Day, it's here. That means it's all about celebrating the people you love. And this morning, we wanted to dig a little deeper into the romantic holiday. So we brought our expert <laughs> in re certified relationship and marriage coach, Jennifer Blank. Cool. Good morning. Good morning, Elaine Thomas. This is your happy super love day. day. I know. I ask if this is your super <laughs> Happy Valentine's day. day. Yeah, happy love day to you. Oh yeah. my Thanks for gosh. having me. Well, we we love that this lined up. This was perfectly. We were curious. Yeah. We, we just thought we'd ask, what does, what does Valentine's Day Valentine's Day mean to you, someone who's all in on love? Yeah, so, you know, it's funny. A lot of people assume that, I, that I'm just so about Valentine's Day. And, and let me tell you, I, I, I do love Valentine's Day. I love going to the grocery store and seeing all the hearts. Uh, I've got teenagers. They, they asked me last night if they're going to get their love buckets this morning. Uh, so, you know, I, it's a sweet holiday. I love, I love the sentiment. I mean, yes, it's, I love it. And at the same time. As a, as a relationship and marriage professional, if we're talking about romance and committed love, I don't love Valentine's Day. It's quite a contrived holiday. And for the sentiment of love gestures to be truly special, they have to be done by one's own choice. Mm -hmm. And when you're talking about a holiday where we're all rushed to the store to buy all these things and make all these reservations, yeah. yes, it's, it's loving, it's thoughtful. I'm not gonna take that away from those of you that do it, don't not do it today. <laughs> At the same time, you know, this holiday, the thing that triggers me is, you know, like I said, the contrived aspect, yeah. uh, the, the thing where um, it, it, I hear a lot in my post-Valentine sessions uh -huh. about the expectations that went unmet, about what was highlighted that somebody is not doing regularly. Mm. The husband or wife that puts on the best show for Valentine's Day usually creates pain because mm. it's emphasized right. that this person can show up a certain way but they're not going to do it the other 364 days. Right. So it's in like, this, oh, wait, you do know how to be romantic. Yeah, you know, and my specialty is working with awesome couples who are living like roommates. Uh -huh. So, you know, th this is my world, at least professionally. Yeah. So, but, you know, I don't want to take away the specialness and the, and the love from today. Sure. What I would love to suggest is, you know, make it extra special by, it, by giving a gift that extends beyond today. Make it something ritualistic. Yeah. You know, um, if you're dating or in a new relationship, maybe buy an adventure that's a month away. It says a lot. It says, I want you at least for another month. Oh, yeah. Mm. And also says, I want you thinking about these plans with me for another month. Uh -huh. So now, now you're taking Valentine's Day, but you're expanding it and you're making it, you know, beyond the day. Um, if you're, you know, married, uh, Offer a new ritual. Honey, let's start going on a date every other Friday night. Mm -hmm. You know, let's, mm. I, I know that seems so generic. Or, you know, um, some kind of thing that maybe hasn't happened yet. A trip that you've been wanting to take that maybe you've been too busy to take because right. of the kids. Right. Offer that up. Expand it beyond. Well, even a, even a generic, like, hey, let's schedule date night can go a long way. Just to, Absolutely. Just to, I think the, the thing that it always boils down to in a lot of these situations is just the time and effort and the thought. Yeah. Right? If, you, if you've put in the effort, if you've thought about something beforehand, it doesn't have to be a hugely expensive display to, to have that impact. Absolutely. And I hear a lot about people really loving thoughtful sentiment. Yeah. So if you're the person that's running out today buying the expensive stuff, that's great. But maybe pick up a card and sit down for 10 minutes and pour a little bit of your heart out because mm -hmm. then those material goods are going to go a lot farther. That card's going to be kept. Um, those words are going to be soaked in. So, yeah. so make it extra special. Ex extend it beyond today. The, mm -hmm. the flowers will die. The chocolates will be eaten. Uh -huh. You know, go long term. Mm -hmm. I, was, uh, there, I feel like um, I've been quiet for a reason. <laughs> I know, Travis. So I noticed I like, that. I, uh, I, I mean, I think a lot of people, uh, you know, agree with a lot of what you, like the contrived fact, but that doesn't mean yeah. you can't make it, you know, still kind of fun. That's you know, right. right. I mean, that's right. Well, today is not the day to say, honey, I'm protesting well, capitalism. Well, so that's, that's what I was going right. to say. Is, you right. know, how many people just heard what you said at the beginning and they were like, that's my, They're get like, out of your free card. <laughs> don't um, do it. Don't yeah, do don't, it. Don't do yeah. that. There's Which a lot is to not. think about. Uh, yeah, Real add quick. to it whatever you're doing. 
keep doing it, uh -huh. just add to it and make it special. Real quick, I yeah. love making things all about me. So any advice for singles <laughs> on Valentine's Day? <laughs> You know, don't be afraid to make loving gestures. I know, uh -huh. I know single people go through a lot of analysis at this time. You know, do I do something? Do I do nothing? Yeah. Uh, am I going to send the wrong message? Take a risk. This is my professional opinion. People mm -hmm. might disagree with me, but my opinion is if you like somebody and you're not, e say you're not even serious, but you really like them, Make a loving gesture today. Okay. Don't be one of those people that thinks that you can't do something because you're afraid to scare them off or be too serious. Mm -hmm. Take the risk if you really are into that person. Because, you know, chances are if you don't do anything, which I know a lot of you single people are, you're not going to do anything because you're going to... Because they don't want to acknowledge it. Yeah, scary. you're not going to acknowledge it. Yeah. But you know what? It's likely that you're going to send the wrong message that you're not into that person. So, True. especially women... Women okay. at large will interpret it this way. So a make song. a loving gesture. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go all crazy, but, you know, well, acknowledge it. Lining, acknowledge it and if, give them love. If you're by yourself on Valentine's Day, you can have the entire heart-shaped pizza to yourself. That's, That's right. right. You don't have to share yeah. with anyone. Love on yourself, <laughs> which is right. what I will be enjoying oh, later. Good. Well, exactly. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Jen, always great to see you. <laughs> awesome to be here. <laughs> right. Thanks happy for having me. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy love day. All right, and as always, you can send in your questions and messages to us on Instagram and Facebook. That's at Coin News. AM Extra, and you can always remain anonymous. Slide into those.